Mello, you gonna have to let him breathe for a second. Okay. Yeah. Look, look, I'm down to earth, but I'm living it up. Top floor, cause we came from the mud. Niggas thinking they slow me up. Making money, I ain't giving a fuck. Me and Milo came up from the jump, jump. Niggas, then I'm making it buck. I remember when I came up, they were turning me down. Now they love me, they fuck with the sounds. Too bad they never gonna see me around. I'm in a, uh, give me the, uh, we in a, uh, uh, uh. I never miss when I'm making a hit. Got my aim on point, you dig. Put my niggas on, now we leave. Can't stop till we all get rich. Zero against the Canadian dollar. Once again, four hour time frame is fine. Um, so here we have the price going up. It's bullish. It's a ascending structure, but this doesn't mean it's going to go up forever. Um, matter of fact, it means that the price could turn, uh, whatever the case may be. So in terms of a ascending structure most important uh, trend line is the resistance because that's where we're gonna base our entries on so that's our uh, i mean that's our trend line resistance right there it's cool uh spot the support which is that and uh, that's cool as well um so this is really simple. It's just the previous uh, setup, but then obviously um, the opposite because this is um, ascending plotting for the cell, right? So once again, you need to count your touches. So there's one, two, and three basically right third touch which is this area has the highest probability once again and from the third touch you really need to focus on what the market presents right so in this case it presented a clear double uh top which is confirmation that we're going to the downside and we did so in this case our first entry could have been um after like reversals on the second leg of the double top right so this part right here so usually okay this is still in the four hour time frame so let's just go down to two hour time frame maybe i mean the two hour time frame yeah so as you can see right here we have um reversal candlesticks right there and if we go down to the hourly time frame you can see it very well that we have this uh, candlestick right here this is a reversal followed by a bearish movement um so like I said previously, I would wait for two uh, selling candlesticks in a row to close and then enter, right? So basically, it will be this as the first one. Okay, let me just type this instead. Mm. So I would have this as the first one. And then this one, that's the second one. So after the second one, that is where I would place my cell. So at the opening of this candlestick, that's what I'm selling. And as you can see from that point, and for those who are wondering about like stop losses and stuff, I would set the stop loss at the previous highest high, which is this point right here. Just a few pips up. Okay, cool. So you can see the price hasn't gone back. It literally just sold off. And that would be, that's quite a huge movement actually. Damn. Just based on uh, the double top on what is considered being the third touch of the structure, right? First, second, third.
highest probability and just look what happened after the double top. Uh, the press just literally took off. So maybe you would have entered here pre, like before all of this happened, right? So you think, okay, cool. This is the third touch, the price uh, um, basically rejected, gave you this uh, nice uh, flag right there. Let's just zoom in. to the 15 minute time frame. So you can see where the nice uh, correction right there, where you had your support of the correction and basically your resistance right there. So you can see it's still the same concept. You have your one, two, three touches, uh, reversals, and then you enter, right? So you, you enter right there. Okay, so this is how it's looking, right? You enter right there, and let's say you set your, your, your target to be at this point right here. So you would have something like that. And this is before all of this happened, right? So you are taking this as the third touch, which it is, and a clear flag right there with the one, two, three touch uh, uh, scenario to the downside. So cool, you were in profit until halfway, and the price literally just um, went back up, right? So to protect yourself, you need to set your stop loss, right? So remember, set your stop loss at the previous highest high, which is right right here, the previous high, right? Right there. So it's just a few pips. You need to sacrifice a small percentage in terms of loss for for the great returns, right? So. The price didn't go all the way down. They it literally st stopped you out. And at that point, you shouldn't really give up on the setup because you can see that after all of that uh, shenanigans, the price just uh, created a double top and went back down. So the double top was, you could have entered again right there after the price uh, took you out right there. So that was basically, uh, this is the first uh, entry that I would normally take. And then, so right now you can see the price uh, hit basically the target, the first target. And what is probably gonna happen right now is a correction, right? So the price is just gonna go sideways until it creates a nice correction for us to continue to the downside with our second entry at the third touch of the correction, of course. And till these areas, till the base of the structure, obviously. So this is how it look. And remember, in this is only gonna be executed if the market does present us with uh, those uh, the, the the certain criteria that we have um, for our setups and entries, right? So if it does give us a clear correction right there with clear three touches on the resistance, with clear uh, reversals on the third touch, that's when we can execute. So this was Eurocad, uh, very simple.